Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited about today's video because it's an updated blonde hair care and updated how I curl my hair. You guys have been requesting this for so long. That's one of my most um, popular comments is, how do you maintain your blonde hair or how do you curl your hair? It's always something about my hair. So I'm gonna sit down with you guys and just talk you through some of the products that help me maintain my blonde and also just how I have been curling my hair. So if you guys are interested in learning a little bit about my hair, then just keep on watching. So as you guys know, I've been blonde for over a year now. I was brunette last year, but it's been quite a journey to get to the blonde that I like. I was transitioning from a brunette last year around this time, and it was very caramely in the summer, and then I got some highlights, and it was nice, but there was lots of dark pieces all still in my hair in early fall. Then I got some highlights, and they were quite stripey. I didn't love them. They were very brassy. And then around Christmas, I got a whole bunch of highlights, and my hair was like, super blonde. I'll insert a picture here, but it was like white blonde. It was so blonde and I love that, but I just can't keep up with highlights. It was damaging my hair and as much as I loved it, it just wasn't practical for me. If you guys watched my Canada vlog, I think part one, I got my hair toned and just some baby lights put through it. So nothing drastic, just not like three part roots anymore. As much as I really like warm toned hair, I don't think it complements my skin tone that much, but I also think that ashy hair doesn't complement my skin tone. I like that neutral balance of a little bit of cool and warmth mixed. So I have some warmth going up here, but when I got my hair done, she did put some cooler baby lights to break up the warmth. So I am a big fan of just neutral blonde, but a little bit on the warm side. So to maintain this blonde color, I have been using some products from eSalon. They did send me some products, but if you've been following me for a while, I am not a hair junkie. Like, everyone always asks me, like, what I use in my hair, this, that, but I really don't use a lot of products in my hair other than shampoo, conditioner, sometimes hairspray, sometimes dry shampoo, but other than that, like, I don't really use a lot of hair products. When I find a good hair mask or hair neutralizer for color, I stick to it. So I've been through a whole bunch of purple shampoos and I've had some that literally did nothing. If anything, I think my hair went brassier. And then I've had some that literally made my hair purple. So it was like the extremes of both ends and I just wanted something to maintain the kind of golden neutral blonde that I like. So I was so excited to review these products. I've had them for a while now and I've used them so many times so this is all honest review but you guys know that I get sent a lot of things all the time and you guys don't even see half of it because I won't review something I don't stick behind and I really agree with. So I'm excited to show you guys these products because I love them, my hair loves them, and yeah, I'm just going to get right into them. So the first one is the Isalon Tinted Love Color Enhancing Treatment. And basically what this does is it revives your hair color, adds shine, and it has color enhancing pigments in it. So if you really wanted to add like lavender, rosy hue highlights to your hair, you could just leave this thing on longer than the recommended time and they'll kind of pull through that lavender color, which is really pretty if you're a blonde and you kind of want that lavender hue. I obviously don't, I just want to cancel out any brassiness, so this is perfect in between shampooing and conditioning my hair. I use it probably once, sometimes twice a week if I'm noticing that my roots are pulling a little bit too much brass for my liking. It just neutralizes any kind of orange green tones in hair and it just brings back life and brightness and the color that I desire. Also if you go on their site, this thing comes in 20 shades, so I have the blonde neutralizer but there's a whole bunch of ones to like revive red give warmth to the brunette. So it's targeted towards your hair color specifically, but this is the one that works for me. Along with that color enhancing treatment, I use the Devoted to Hue Color Enhancing Mask, and you use this instead of a conditioner. So if you just wanna neutralize your hair, do your normal shampoo, and then use the color enhancing treatment to your specific hair color, and then put on the color enhancing mask. This one is purple, so again, it's neutralizing to blondes. As you can see, this one's like a nice violet color, so it really reduces any brassy tones again, but this one is just a lot more hydrating. The other one isn't a conditioner, it's just to tone your hair, where this one is a mask and it's used like a conditioner, but like a deep conditioner. Whenever I'm using this one in the shower, I like to use this one with it, just because it's easier and then I don't forget, and my hair feels really soft and hydrated after. 
So those are the two products that I use to tone and neutralize my hair about once to twice a week. But the product I use to bring back shine and give my hair a really healthy look is the Isalon Shining Armor Renewing Treatment Oil, which has argan oil in it, vitamin E and F, and it just brings back that like natural shine that your hair needs. My hair is very coarse. It is a very coarse strand. It just is always dry like it just is that's the way it is this is by far my favorite product of them all just because as much as you can change around your hair color you want it to feel healthy and to look healthy and this little guy does it for me I just do a couple of pumps in my hand really warm it up and then just apply it to anywhere that my hair looks frizzy on the ends and it's safe to use on your extensions and it doesn't feel greasy in your hair or oily it's very lightweight and I just love the look of it so those are the products that I've been absolutely loving and helping me maintain my perfect blonde color so if you guys are interested in any of these products down below are the links where you can get 50% off but with any three products on the site you can get three for 15 which is also an amazing deal and these are just specific towards my hair color so go on to e salon and you kind of go through a little test on your hair color the type it is the color it is um, the color you want or the color you desire and they will modify the products for you so it's really specific and designed for you and the hair color that you kind of want to achieve or need help with. So if you're a blonde, I highly suggest these products because they are amazing. So just check below and there'll be links to all of them. Again, any three for 15 or individually, they are 50% off. So that's it for my updated blonde hair care. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I curl my hair on an everyday basis, then just keep on watching. Okay, so my hair is freshly blow dried and it's not ideal to like curl your hair right after you blow dry just because I don't find it holds as well, but it was so greasy so I needed to wash it. But it's freshly blow dried and I'm wearing my Luxie hair extensions in Dirty Blonde. And the curling iron or wand that I'm going to use today is the Numi 32mm Classic Wand. I love this width, I think it's perfect because you can kind of do a tighter curl, brush it out and it does more of a soft wave or you can do tiny pieces of hair and get that beachy kind of wave look. But for my everyday kind of curl, I don't really go through every single piece of my hair to curl it. I just pick pieces mostly around the top of my head and framing my face to curl so that I can brush it out and it looks really natural and effortless. I don't want my hair to look perfect. I just like when it looks um, like it has a little bit of movement in it. So I just bring all my hair to the front and part it into two sides. And then I just start at the back and grab random pieces of hair, curl around the wand, I always leave the ends out just because I find it just gives you a little bit extra length and it doesn't always flip around and I think when you curl the ends that gives it a more polished look where I want it to look a little bit more tousled and natural. I'm going to take it out and the curl that you're left with is just very soft and natural. So I just honestly there's no like certain way I do this. I just pick random pieces that are like really straight that like need to be curled and go through my hair, pick them, and lightly give a wave and movement to it. I love when the curls look all different, like some are a little bit more perfect than others, and some are not as curled as others. I think it just adds to that, you know, I didn't curl my hair look. Now I know this wand does come with a mitt, but I don't really like using it just because I've curled my hair so many times that I don't really need to, but if you're kind of nervous about curling your hair with a wand because you feel like you'll burn yourself, do not worry because it does come with a mint. I find that wearing extensions when you curl your hair is beneficial because the extension holds the curl longer, so next time you put your extensions in, they already kind of have a wave, so that makes it easier not to curl every piece because if my extensions were pinned straight, then I would have to go through all my hair and curl it, but since there's just leftover waves from when I curled it last, which I honestly don't know when I curled it last, um, I don't have to go over every piece. When it comes to the front section, I like the pieces going away from my face, and I like it when it's a softer curl. I don't like it when it's really curly, so just really soft like that. Lately, I've just been doing all of the pieces away from my face. I've done none towards my face, but sometimes I like to mix it up and do a couple pieces towards if I don't want it to look as perfect, but I think doing it this way where you're kind of picking and choosing what pieces you want thicker and thinner, it just gives variety to the style and it doesn't look perfect, so that's just my preference, but you can do whatever you want. 
So you can just see the difference. It's nothing perfect, but there's just some movement in my hair and variety, and it just looks really easy going. And this side is just really like limp and puffy and kind of frizzy. So this thing just kind of smooths out the hair, gives a nice shine to the curl. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this side. So once my hair is all done, you can just see how effortless this looks. And this is just the kind of hairstyle that I rock on almost an everyday basis and it's really good for longevity. I can sleep on it and it just kind of gets more tousled and worn looking. To tame any flyaways and frizziness, I'm using the Isalon Shining Armor Renewing Treatment Oil and this stuff smells so good. I take a couple cups of this, warm it up in my hands and then really just put it at the bottoms of my hair and just smooth out any flyaways. So that's it for my updated blonde hair care and updated how I curl my hair video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!